Hello guys, so in this video I want to share my opinion about this electric bicycle by Swifty. So this is going to be the folding model with 20 uh, inch wheels in a 7.8 amp hour battery. And I can tell you that I'm really surprised with this little guy. Um, so it was advertised as being a 50 mile per hour uh, max speed in actually uh, it's able to reach about 18 miles per hour so it's pretty quick and it's really responsive and uh, as for the uh, the frame it's really nice all the different components feel really nice and well designed really um good quality materials so as for the weight it weighs around 45 pounds and to me i think that that's a little too much i think that it should have been a little bit less but um, i think it's still acceptable uh, as for the color this is supposed to be like the pink color but it's a really tricky color uh, sometimes it looks like reddish and sometimes i notice some pink colors uh, but I think that this bicycle can be used for both uh, male and female. Um, so just for you to know, I'm around uh, six feet and I weigh around 155 pounds. And the reason I say it is because, uh, you know, I'm not really sure this bicycle, uh, who it was designed for, uh, because I, I can tell you that the handlebar, it actually feels too close to my body and it doesn't feel too comfortable to ride it. So, uh, you know, unfortunately you're not, you're not able to move it forward or backwards or up and down. So it's just in one fixed position. So here in a moment, I will show you uh, how it looks when you are on top of it. So here you can see me and, um, right? So as you can see, the I wish the, the handlebar could have been right here. And that would have been much more comfortable for me. Um, but yeah, uh, also here you can see um, my leg is actually there's still some space in between uh my leg and uh, um in the um the handlebar so it's not going to affect uh, here so here you can see another view and i can tell you it's still rideable for somebody uh with my height um, but it's not going to be really uh comfortable so if you're shorter, I think that is going to be much better for you. And um, as you can see, it's just, um, you know, I'm just writing it without any problems. Um, so here I can show you another view. That's where I would, would like the handlebar to be. So if uh, they had included something to move the, the handle to the front, it would have been much better. Um, so as you can see, uh, yep, yeah, not, not where I wanted it to, to be. So here you have another view. You can see me writing it. And as you can see, it can accommodate somebody that is about six feet. Uh, but I do notice that the back wheel is kind of uh, struggling a little bit to hold my weight, uh, as you can see there, uh, you know, and I'm only 155 pounds. So this bicycle is really responsive and it's really fast. So you want to be careful when you're turning. Uh, so here you have another view you, so you can see the back wheel. Uh, and you can uh, just make a decision for yourself. So as you can see, it's still handling my weight, but you know, uh, I think that I inflated the, the tires to the level that they needed to be. So you can see the front wheel is just doing much better because there's not much weight uh, in the front. I also heard the uh, rattling noise from the free wheel, but you know, once you're riding, you don't hear it that much. So here on the rack, there is a, a space where you can put like a rope uh, where you can attach the front fork when you fold the bicycle. 
I also noticed that the braking system from the front, it was rubbing against the frame when you fold it. So you want to put some type of uh, cloth in between to protect the frame. So the pedal measures around four inches. When you fold it, it measures around one inch and a half. Uh, so there's two keys that are included. Uh, as you can see, that's where the lock is, and then you're able to remove the battery. So underneath you have the charging port and you have a power button. And at the top you have a button that just indicates and illuminates for a little bit just to show you how much charge you have on the battery. So here you just slide it inside and you're ready to go so here you can remove this rope and the rack weights are um actually the one the rack can uh support a weight of around 40 pounds and that's what i'm saying uh you know uh, i'm not really sure that it can hold too much weight uh you know the rider's weight plus the low on the rack so the seat posts, I thought it was uh, similar to the ones of a regular bike, but this is actually longer and much thicker. So right there is the minimum weight, uh, or actually the minimum that has to stay inside. And that's the, uh, from inside, as you can see, it's really thick. So I measured from the minimum that I inserted the seat post. So I extended the pedal and I measured it from the pedal to all the way to the seat. And it measures around 33 inches. And the minimum it measured around 25 inches. So here you can also see the handle grips here. They're really nice and comfortable. They feel really well designed, um, good quality. You also, uh, there's also a bell included. And here you can also see the controller and the fenders are really nice and uh, material made of metal. So right there in the middle between the pedals, you can see a red stand. So that's where the bicycle is going to rest when you fold it. I really don't like that design because um, as you can see in a moment here, when I fold the bicycle, most of the weight is going to be on one side. So as you can see, the front wheel goes to, to one side and then also the handlebar and that adds more weight. And I felt that the stand was just struggling uh, to stay balanced. So you might have to rest the bicycle against um, something. Uh, so here, as you can see, it's really easy to just put it back again. So, um, yeah, so to summarize guys, um, I, I really like the bicycle. It really f has a nice quality, but I'm not really sure it could handle somebody that is six feet comfortably and somebody that is uh, much more heavier than 155 pounds. So, you know, you could give it a try and see for yourself. I hope that this video was able to help you. So um, that's all I have to share, guys. If you have any comments, let me know in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, your likes will be appreciated. And consider subscribing for any future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.